today I'm going to show everybody how to do a, a Vietnamese style coffee. Um, here we have is Fanati Vietnamese coffee. It comes in five pound bags like this. And we have a Fanati tea filter with a handle. Okay? And these can all be bought in Fanati drinks. And a random filter, you can use cheesecloth if you don't have these paper filters. You can buy anywhere. Even the cash and carry or small final do have it. Some kind of bucket container. Some measuring cups. And non dairy creamer. And condensed milk. This is a 14 ounce can. So, first, we want to start with non dairy creamer. We'll measure out one cup. Drop the condensed milk in the container as well. The reason why I'm using non dairy creamer instead of just purely condensed milk, one is for cost purposes. This will reduce your cost by far. This condensed milk is the most expensive ingredient here. And another reason part being is non dairy creamer actually gives more fat, uh, uh, a creaminess, and makes it very smooth. Um, something I are indeed out this milk done. Put the filter over it. There's the part where we have to get the coffee. What I'm gonna do is use about uh, a 16 ounce cup full of coffee. And that's, even though it looks like a lot, uh, by weight it's only about six ounces. And this makes about six to seven cups of drinks, depending on the size of the drink. Uh, something about this drink, I don't recommend too big of, uh, of a size. A 16 ounce cup is more than sufficient. Because if you drink too much, it's gonna be too uh, uh, too strong, and people can't handle that. So here's the coffee. It's already grown. It has a special blend inside to give the special aroma. So right here, just a little bit more. Ounce. Now twice the water. So whatever you get, 16 ounce cup full, twice the water. I use water temperature uh, about 85 to 95. This is even though it looks very steaming hot by the time you get to the cup. It's about 95 degrees. So I'll pour some in there first initially. You, what, what you're doing currently is called wetting the coffee. So what it does is it brings, it brings the coffee, making it almost like a filter. Okay. Get a stirring spoon and let the coffee and the water fully mix. So this part is called wetting the coffee, okay? Basically, you wanna give it a stir so you get fully contact with the, with the water. You know, it's pretty fun, you know? It smells really, really good right now. If a customer walks through now, you just got yourself a sale. So I won't do too big of amount at one time. You could do that if you want to, but I would, you know, depends on the day of time, if you rush hours, I'll definitely brew a whole batch ahead of time. But if you are not too busy, I'll brew it as a go because the aroma sells itself, right? It's the look, the experience, the smell, and then finally the taste. All that needs to all synchronize into one for your product to be a great, you know, great sale. So one more cup of water. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, this is not the way you do it. You can use a, a, a special coffee uh, a filter or whatever. I don't think you need it, right? If you understand product, what matters is get all the coffees fully setting in here. And then our tea filter is actually a really, really fine filter. And then on top of that, I put a little layer of, 
you know, paper filter, so it's double filtered. See how the tea, uh, the coffee and the water is building together? Well, coffee is very, very strong and aromatic. You see all the bubbles here, like the, the, the almost, almost like a brownish color? That's the crema, that's the fat inside the coffee. Only good coffee has a lot of fat. And that's the best part of the coffee. So, so two cup of the coffee. And this is to make a very strong coffee. And by all means, if you feel, you know, you don't need to be that strong and you wanna basically offer for, for not just a special Vietnamese group people that's like very, very uh, into coffee, you can dilute this a little more by offering a little bit of water, a little bit more water. But again, this is the shining point of a Venus coffee is very strong and aromatic. So at this point, once it's fully submerged with water, just let it slowly drip. It'll take about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, you can go, you know, do something else, prepping. So once it's done, just stir everything and then pour over. So now we have finished. Coffee is dried up, all right? You can use this to make desserts or plant your flower with it. It's good, uh, it's good fertilizer. <laughs> oh, also it kills smell inside your car, inside your kitchen. So right now, since it's hot, you wanna mix everything together. I will get some kind of like whisk. I don't have it, so I just have this. But just make sure you, dilute, you know, mix everything well. And this is for small size, 16 ounce. It's good for about six cups. Large size, 24 ounce, maybe we put about four cups. Okay. Yeah. As you can tell, there's still a little bit of chunks of the creamer inside. What you wanna do is, when this happens, you wanna do a, like a slight filter when you, when you pour out. Because I don't have a whisk. If you got a whisk, obviously it's, it's gonna be, do a better job. So now we have a whole cup of ice. Why so much ice? Because this is hot. It's gonna melt the ice. And this is very strong right now. Okay. And uh, um, also, um, uh, if your coffee is cooled down, it's not fresh brewed. If it's cold, then you want to reduce your ice. So this drink, um, the coffee mix, I have tried it for about a week. It's still good. This is it's really sweet. Here we go, you know this coffee. Give it a stir. You can put toppings in the bottom. Goes really well with boba, right? You know this with coffee with boba. That sounds good, right? All right. You can also put cheese cream on top. A lot of things you can do on it, okay? Really good drink. Fanani drinks, the boba guru. Thank you, have a good day.